Hello YouTubers, Minecrafters, and peoples of the intertubes. And welcome back to Modded Minecraft, coming to you from the Kerpow Craft Kingdom server. My name is Tolbert, and I'm your host, and thanks for coming along. We're glad to have you. Well, in the last episode, we built our little guardian here, and we took down that giant head that was over in the sky above from Hydra Nova's little prank. Well, I seem to think that today, well, today is going to be a bit of a day to do a little adventuring. That's right, we're going out adventuring. While doing the Woodland Mansion, wherever that map is, there it is. When we went to do the Woodland Mansion over the live stream, we came across a couple I thought we already did this but we came across a couple of interesting little um I guess you would say locations along the way so that's what we're gonna start heading towards today we're gonna head back towards this mansion and we're gonna see if we can't find anything interesting. Let me go ahead, grab a couple of bits and bobs together and then we'll go ahead and take off and head our way that way. As soon as we come across one of those interesting locations, well, we'll come back here so that we can go ahead and explore that area together. So let me go ahead and run over here. Let's go ahead and pop up onto guard tower number four, up onto the sky bridge, and we will take off in what we believe is the proper direction here. And that is that we are currently, if we look at the map, we are in the southwest, so we need to head northeast. We look at our little map here, so northeast is going to be in that direction. We can also use the mini map up in the corner to give us a hint on which way to go. So let's go ahead, let's start heading out that way, and like I said, we'll be back as soon as we find something interesting. And so there we have our first location. We have some sort of tower here that we're going to go ahead and Let's hop inside this place and let's see what we got. And we'll go ahead and switch over to our normal armor just in case we come across something not so nice. And well, we see that there's a way down there. We got some spider webs to get rid of. Unfortunately, the glaive that we carry with us doesn't really bode well when it comes to getting rid of spider webs. Not nearly as well as what a sword would do. And well, what do we have here but a ladder up? And what do we have outside the top here? Well, we have a lovely chest. Eh, some gunpowder, that's not bad. Some redstone, also not bad. Some iron, always good. String, bread, rotten zombie flesh, and a green rune. We always like finding the runes. Changes the enchantment color of whatever you're wielding. As you can see by our glaive, what we named the Wave Maker. It's got a different shimmer to it as compared to the other magical items that we have on us. Well, that green rune will do just really an aesthetic, but well, we like the aesthetics. All right, we got to get down below here. And yeah, the glaive's not so good at this. So let's actually grab a sword here. Let me just plop this down right here. Let's go ahead and go into our toolbox where we do have a normal sword and a pair of shears. Let's go with the shears so we can actually grab the spider webs. So we'll throw that in there. We'll go ahead and pull that back. So let's take a look at what we got down here. I think we're going to need to throw some torches in our offhand just so that we can see what's going on. All right, so let's take a look at what we have downstairs here. Let's get our glaive ready just in case. 
And there is a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, apparently there's a whole lot of nothing down here. That's kind of odd. There's a place with a basement that goes to nothing. Oh, no, I was wrong. There's a spawner here. Oh, uh, yep. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Let's just get rid of you. Let's throw that torch up there. Try to light this place up so we don't get anything else. Is there, by chance, anything else down here? That's going to be a real question. And I'm probably not going to find anything else. Doesn't look like it. Looks like all we have is that spawner. Yep, I think we're out of luck as far as finding anything else down here. Yep, all the cobblestone is just going away. So I'm going to guess that when this uh, little tower generated here, it generated on top of a dungeon and it kind of sealed itself in and whatnot. Kind of had a, uh, a crash, so to say. Merged together and not for the better. So, all right, that's just one place. Now we're going to be on our way searching for another. Because we know we found at least two, maybe even three. So let me head on off to the next destination and we'll be back again. Hopefully this time we'll be able to find some of those ancient tomes. And so here we have, well, quite a large tower in front of us here. That is quite tall. Let's go ahead and get up top of it. Take a look down there. There is a guardian altar on top. And well, let's work our way downward inside of this one. Where is those torches at? There we go. Because we are definitely going to get attacked here because there are spawners probably on every floor of this thing. It's how they've been for a while. Every time we come across one, there's been spawners on every floor. But actually, we're not going to save the spawners here. We're going to go ahead and destroy those. Because we don't need to save them. We're just here exploring. So let's go ahead and knock this one out. Hey, 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 back off. <laughs> At least give me a chance to get my weapon out, man. You too. Go ahead and plant that down there. We see another guy. Try to eliminate them as best as we can. All right, let's get, get rid of that. All right, let's see what we got in the chest. A whole bunch of bones, saddles, rotten flesh, a gigapickle scene. I guess we'll take that. And, well, I guess we'll take the bones, too, although we don't really need them. Alright, so now let's continue working our way down. But actually, no. Let's not work our way down. Because we did see this area back here. So, back here, there's nothing in here, but... Inside, well, I guess we gotta take that out of our hands, and... We do it now. What do we need to access this? Is it an empty hand in order to access it? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's just break it. Hey. And there is a chicken inside of it. Stone monster egg. All right, so there is... There's a silver fish in there. Ah, we're not gonna wear the silver fish. We'll let him sit there and relax. <clears throat> Actually, no, I correct myself. We are gonna worry about the silver fish. The only reason why we're gonna worry about that silver fish is because we need to get an achievement. And that achievement 
requires us to kill one of every hostile mob. And I thought we had done that. But there's one hostile mob that just keeps on avoiding us. The question is, is it the silver fish? Let's find out. It, well, that just wasn't fair. I guess we won't find out about that this time. Hey, buddy, what's up? Why don't you just go ahead and all of you just burn right there. Holy cow. How many of you are there? Oh, whole lot, that's how many. They keep running into that spider web. Oh, you got through the spider web. You. Oh, what did I, what am I getting stuck on? Some type of trap. Yep, there's a trap there. Let's bust that. Thanks. All right, now we can probably take care of these guys without triggering a trap. You gonna come up here too? Indeed you are. Okay. Let's go ahead, let's shear away that. And let's get rid of this little spotter here. Alright, that makes our life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead, come back here. There's another monster egg there, so that's good. And I hear guys walking around, so come here, buddy. Let's take care of him real quick and then come back here. So we got a monster egg, let's see. Is there going to be another one that falls? Yep, it fell all the way down. Nothing in there either. And nope, you're not pushing me over the edge, buddy. Good thing we quickly came back from that. All right. Let's go ahead and keep on searching. Keep on trying to find things through here. And hopefully we'll be able to find another monster egg of some sort and we got spiders down here now oh come on now where are all you guys coming from are we done with that holy cow nope you're still coming all right so yeah let's bust that okay we're using the wrong tool to do that that's for certain all right <clears throat> So let's see, what do we got? We have more gunpowder, we have more rotten flesh, pumpkin seeds we don't need, duct tape we definitely don't need, take the redstone and music discs. Once again, definitely don't need those. All right, we're on the search for ancient tomes, so let me go ahead and finish going through this entire thing. And if we find something of interest, I'll bring you back in. Well, this is a lucky find right here. We're still in the same tower. We got two runes and a heart jar that we came across let's go ahead and drop some things that we don't need here let's pick up those three items we want that last jar uh, rune there oh and we got a friend coming to visit go ahead take care of him real quick all right so we are not going to need let's get rid of the cobblestone and go ahead and take that and so let's continue along our way through this place, through this tower, see if we can't find more stuff. Well, sadly, we went through this entire tower and didn't find nothing. But we are still going to take this here guardian altar. It's always fun to find these ones and bring them back to the, uh, our little city with those. And so we're going to continue on our northeastern direction. Trying to head towards this, toward this woodland explorer location. And so we will continue to look for interesting places and we'll be back. The cat came back the very next day. Oh, the cat came back thought he was a goner but the cat came back the very next day well now what is this a mysterious letter i wonder if this is actually for me or not 
to the heroic and hilarious rebels. Brothers, I commend your actions. Your people and your cause are noble. And let's not forget most honorable. We humbly suggest that you direct your actions westward. The dragon is just some deranged monk. The spirit of cooperation proves strong. I may have something which would, could greatly benefit you in your endeavors. Your new friend. Well, it definitely appears someone has found out just exactly where we are. That never bodes well for us. So, all right. Let's go and see if our people are ready for such a task. Citizens of the FRP. Apparently, we have been given a target. I believe the lands in which we currently reside wish us to take action against the Dragon of the West. Please tell me. Do you think this may be a valid target for us? Well, you all seem to be looking away at the moment. Do we have any yeses or noes? You, my friend, what do you think? Shall we head over there? Hmm. Well, I think this sounds like a very valid option for us. So let us get prepared for tonight. We have a visit to make. And so seeing that bridge right there and this lovely area tells us that we have arrived at the home of the Dragon of the West. But well, let's have a little bit of fun here now, shall we? What we have is we have one and a half stacks of iron blocks, 64 stacks, or no, sorry, 64 pumpkins, one stack of pumpkins, and half a stack of snow. Well, I'm sure some of you can guess based on that what's about to happen. That is that all throughout this place we're going to be putting up our little friends. Well, the nice thing about our little friends is that as he attacks one, they all should turn on him. Every single one of them going after the dragon. I was kind of afraid that was going to happen with that one. See, it's that block touching that wall. But let's get that pumpkin back. Let's knock all this out of here. Let's try that one again. Let's move it one more block over. So that's what we're going to do. And what's going on here? Oh... The ceiling. Now, it looks like there's enough room there. There we go. So let's go ahead. Let's put up a couple of our friends all over the place here. And once we're done, we'll take a look around and what kind of havoc we've call, caused here. So we'll be back in just one moment. And so the Dragon of the West now has some friends of mine to contend with. They are now all over the place through here in buildings, across bridges, we put both the iron and the snow golems to work. So as he comes in here and starts to attack them, 
they will all converge on him. This will be quite entertaining when it happens. So let's go ahead and get back to our people. Oh, well, now, where did that one go? All right. Hey, guy. So let's go ahead and get back to our people and see what they have to say about this. My fellow Philantians, we have provided the Dragon of the West with 40 of our robotic soldiers. Some are even dressed as Christmas decorations and are armed just the same. Now we shall see how he likes being overrun. Well, we seem to have found ourselves another little type of tower here. And close enough to landing on top. So we know there's a chest up there. Let's see what we have here. A heart jar and two apples can stay there. On top of the tower itself, we have more iron, more gunpowder, bones. Don't need the duct tape. We got lots of duct tape, and duct tape, you just use that to fix magical items. Well, that's all that we have of interest up there. The question is, what do we have down below? Let's go ahead and throw our armor on it. Let's get our glaive ready. We have redstone everywhere, and there's a trip wire here. Oh, crap. I hear it. Breaking the tripwire tripped the, the explosives. Didn't think that was going to happen. Thankfully, though, we were in the right corner, and we had the right armor on to keep ourselves protected. So, okay, that's a little disappointing, so I guess we'll keep on heading. You can see we went a little bit too far east on the map, so we got to head west a little bit and keep heading towards that woodland mansion. So once again, we'll be back in a minute. All right, we have ourselves yet another little tower type thing. And this, oh, we even got a golem inside here. Go ahead, break in and say hi to our little golem friend. Let's go ahead and get ready. Let's throw that armor on. Get rid of some of these things and we can go ahead and knock that out. All right, Gollum, get attacking. Except Gollum's not attacking. There you go, go get him, Gollum. Good job. All right, let's on, what's on top of this place, if anything? Doesn't look like anything is on top. Okay. So we gotta work our way down. So we'll go ahead. I don't like skeletons so much. We can go ahead and do this. Help get rid of them. All right, Gollum. Good job, buddy. Wish I could take you down with me. I just realized I got to put those torches back in my offhand. And we got we got some skeleton friends because we're stuck in a web. All right, now we're out of the web. All right, so let's get exploring this place, and it looks like it's going to be very similar to that other tower we came across. Let's explore this, and we'll come back in just one second. Well, sad to say, this little tower thing was also a bust for us as well. But let's go ahead and continue heading towards the Woodland Mansion here. You see our dots starting to get bigger on there. We're still a bit to the east that we need to be. We had a little bit to the west here. But we're going to still keep our eye out for any kind of buildings and whatnot. 
see if we can't find something else to keep on exploring and hope we will find something actually worthwhile so we'll be back and literally just after i said that guess what we didn't come across just one but two places of interest to explore this being a little bit of a temple looks like a one of the jungle temples we have a tower over yonder so let's go ahead and throw our armor back on and let's go ahead and crack on in this thing and see if we can't find something all right here's an entrance anything behind it nope doesn't look like, look like there's anything behind it let's go ahead and throw those torches in our offhand before we go ahead and continue down here let's be safe let's get our glaive ready we're just searching for oh we got a tripwire Tripwire is probably going to activate something. Is there? Yep, this is a jungle temple. Or one of these. One of these switches will deactivate that or open a secret passage. One of the two. I don't remember exactly what. We hit the first one. The first one did push a piston somewhere. Oh, wait, that's right. It always pushes back here, doesn't it? Yep. Right. Nope, not there. Okay. So. Uh, well, that did a double piston push, so that do something okay that block is now up so let's see here if we turn that one off it retracted something and it put that block back down <clears throat> so now if we go ahead and hit that one flip that one off right there we go now we have a redstone entrance down there and can't get to it from over here that's interesting well all right let's just go ahead and come on down right here let's say all right what kind of treasures do you have for me we have some emeralds more string and bones sand above of lately is always nice to have and some horse armor Guess we'll take those and let's go ahead and knock out these pistons. We can keep those for ourselves. And now let's go ahead and come back over here and see. Nope. Not over here. Come back down here. Let's actually knock out that tripwire and run. Oh, it just activated a, a string. Okay, that wasn't no big deal. Question is how much string is in, or how many arrows are in here? No, oh, not a bad haul. And we'll go ahead and we'll take that dispenser. Yep, we'll take that dispenser as well. And we see another tripwire right there and a dispenser there. So if we hide up here... No problem. We'll take that one as well. Okay, so now what do we have in the chest? Ooh, another rune. Always like finding those. Sand, a book of disarm. No idea what that does. But honestly, probably nothing good. Seems to be that the newer spells added by the Dungeon Tactics mod, they don't do too much. Or at least you can't even put them on any armor or weapons or anything. Okay, let's take another look at the map here. We are directly south of the Woodland Mansion. So let's go ahead and start going back directly north. Oh, wait, no. This is just the one. We got to head over to that one to find out what's inside that place. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and glide on over there see what we can't find 
We have a lot. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. How you doing, buddy? Not getting me today, that's for certain. So let's get up here. Buddy, you need to go ahead and get on out of here. We have a ladder here to climb. Find out what's in here. Let's go ahead and explore this a little bit. Let's put those torches back. Let's get this place lit up. Oh, some iron in the furnace along with some coal. We'll take that. What do we have up the stairs, though? Uh, is there something way up there? We can't tell from here. Okay, what? Lots of lapis. We'll take that. And a regular golden apple. Except we got no more room in our inventory. So we got to pop some of these things into our chest again. Go ahead and throw in there whatever we can, if anything. All right, not too much got in there. So this is probably going to be our last stop as far as places to check out. But we need some blocks in order to go ahead and get up there. So we'll go ahead and grab this abundance of brown terracotta, I believe this is. Nope, this is gray. Looks more brown than gray, but I guess it's gray. Let's just grab a whole bunch of this stuff. What do we got? 18. We're going to need probably some more. But we're glad they left us with a way to get up there. And so, all right. 39, we're going to call that good. So let's go ahead and start heading straight up there. <clears throat> and apparently we got to take the torches out of our hand. So let's go up the middle, up to that piece of glowstone. The glowstone alone is worth gumming all the way up here for. And apparently that's going to be, oh, that's not glowstone, that's a redstone lamp. Apparently that's all we came up here for. All right, we're not happy about that. That's kind of cheap. All right, so let's head the rest of our way to the Woodland Mansion here. We're we're close. And once again, we'll be back. All right, so we made it back to the Woodland Mansion here. Which means that that's going to be it for our adventuring today. We're just going to go ahead and make our way all the way back home. 9,000 blocks to get there. But unfortunately, we weren't able to really find anything too good. We were out looking for those ancient tomes and we couldn't find any. However, we did get a couple of these runes that you, some of them you can make, some of them you can't make. We got a gray one, a green one, a purple one, and a brown one. And well, we got a couple of pieces of iron, some, some gold, some golden apples, lapis and emeralds. So... I guess you'd say it was a decent haul for just going around inside those places. We also got this Book of Disarm, then no idea what that does. And, well, we got a couple of free sticky pistons. And dispensers. So, overall, not too shabby. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for coming along with us. Sorry we couldn't get something more exciting out of the adventure. Throw a rocket up in the air and say, till next time, everybody, thanks for coming along, and we will see you shortly.